everyone, welcome to the first of my brand new series, Roblox Game Development. So, a lot of you might have been watching my old series, the Roblox Scripting Tutorials. Um, those tutorials weren't bad, I, I guess. I mean, I'm kind of biased. But, the thing about them was they only taught you scripting. And scripting isn't everything in Roblox. There's e there's some things that I most of us can get. We understand building, usually. Uh, some of us can understand how to make GUIs. Most of the time, most people mostly need help with scripting. But, this is going to actually encompass everything. We're going to talk about building. We're going to talk about making GUIs. We're going to talk about manipulating lighting and other things, and teams. We're also going to learn how to use plugins, possibly. I might actually know that won't be in the game development. But there's going to be a lot of awesome stuff. Now, my voice might go a little off sync with my video during this series. Just a little bit. Um, hopefully it's not bad. And if it is off some, I'm going to see if there's a way I can fix it. Uh, with my, but I only have free software to use right now, um, so I can't fix it too much. But let's get let's get this started, right? Okay, so here's my profile. In fact, actually, I'm going to go to the home page. So first, you'll need a Roblox account. Go to Roblox.com. There's an account, stuff like that. You'll need to sign in. Um, You'll have a place automatically created. So, places will be gone soon. So, I'm not actually going to ever go to this tab. You go to the Build tab now. Find your game. It should be right here at the top. But I'm going to scroll down some. So, we're going to go to here just because, you know, it's the first one that is empty. You're going to want to click Settings right here. And I'm going to go to Configure. I'll explain all that other stuff on at a later date when we've actually made games worth explaining that. Uh, hopefully this tutorial isn't too long, by the way, guys. Uh, this tutorial will not cover much more than just the basics of getting started. Um, next tutorial will continue that. So, yeah. Okay, so step one, we'll change its name. I'm going to change it to YouTube. Er, Roblox Game Development YouTube. Okay? And I'm just going to put in the description. And then I'm pretty sure I won't get banned for that. Save changes. Now, I'm not going to use anything special yet. Um, in fact, we're not even going to do much filming. You press the back button, or and you click edit. Now, one thing I should tell you guys that I don't think I told you yet, and I did not mean to click that. Go back. Um, one thing I didn't really tell you guys was you will, you will want to. What was? You will want to use Roblox Studio when you download Roblox. Which, in order to do that. Just click play on a game, and it'll prompt you to do so. Download it. It's safe. There's no viruses. Roblox is a legit company. So, you download that. Um, then you go. I, I assume most of you are using Windows. Some of you might be using Mac. Maybe soon, Linux um, will be able to use Roblox. Right now, it's not. Uh, iPad. Uh, the new iPad and iPhone 5 and, the, I think, the iPod Touch 5G uh, are all capable of playing Roblox games. I'm not sure if they have Roblox Studio because I do not own any of those products. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we will move down. Uh, you'll hit your start button. And here's a bunch of programs. Uh, just hit all programs. Scroll down and soon enough you will find Roblox. Uh, click it and you will see Roblox Studio uh, it might not be Roblox Studio 2.0 beta uh, by the time you get it. It might be Roblox Studio 2.0. They might just call it Roblox Studio. I don't know. But you don't want Roblox Player. You want to launch Roblox Studio. And I actually already have it launched, so I don't know why I clicked that. Maybe it'll 
open a second one or maybe it won't I don't know all I know is it's lagging my computer okay it did open a second one I'll close it anyway so once you do that you can go to build do all of the stuff by changing its name and description um, and then you can either press the back and then click this edit by the way the reason we're using Roblox Studio uh, rather than just regular is because you can only build from in browser you need Roblox Studio to do the edit and it edit, edit is much more powerful much more powerful anyway I clicked build um, I forgot to move the view thing um, we're gonna go down where is it uh, Roblox game development YouTube. go here uh, and click edit you can click it on the page too I just want to show the ways uh, like I said I'm showing how to get around a little bit uh, for building in that group, so I'm not going to give a whole Roblox tour because that's not my place to do. I am simply teaching you guys. This whole series is really kind of teaching you guys how to get yourself to be a game developer on Roblox's uh, great game engine that they've built. Because um, that's you can actually use this to launch a game development uh, career. Okay, so we see this and. To be honest with you guys, I don't like terrain too much because it's a little harder to script and stuff. And this will be a scripting thing, so we will not really use terrain. In fact, we may never use it. I don't honestly know. But for right now, we're not going to do anything with it because, again, this is just showing the basics of getting around. So we have a lot of tabs up here. I'm not going to explain what any of them can do yet at all. Uh, we got a bunch of different toolbar things up here. Still not going to explain anything. Down here, we've got um, our plugins, um, built-in plugins, and more stuff. By the way, this might be might look different for you because uh, I did rearrange it to my liking. In fact, I rearranged a lot of uh, Roblox Studio for my liking. Um, over here, you should see Explorer and Properties. You may or may not see Output. Um, in fact, if you do see output, it'll be right down here. And I want you guys to actually click it, drag it, put it anywhere you really like, but I like it right here. And then, let me just show you one thing. We'll need the command bar later. So click view, tools, toolbars, click command, and it should show up right down here. So, I'm not really going to explain what anything is, um, yet, but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. Help me make this series better by commenting below, and please stay tuned for the next episode.